hello beautiful people welcome to my channel once again my name is chet girl if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe right below we are still on our journey of taking charge of our own health uh today i'm in my backyard and i have these plants which helps me a lot in my family and i wanted to share some of the benefits with uh my viewers okay uh this plant is known as calancho pinata okay or bromophilium pinatum as you can see when you look closely to the edges of the plants, okay, um, it's, it looks like brown. Let me go a little bit closer so that you can see. It looks brown, sort of purplish color. That is the particular uh, calancho that I'm going to be talking about. We have different kinds of calancho, okay, um, but this is the kind I'm going to talk about. Uh, in Ghana, this is known as Tamiyewu. Okay, this particular plant is known as Tamiyewu. Also, let me show you another kind of the calancho this one over here as you see everywhere of the plant is green this is not the kind i'm talking about or any other kind there are so many kinds of it i am talking about this particular one because it is the most uh they are all healthy they are all used for different things but this is the particular one that i'm gonna be talking about because it is packed with nutrients uh that will help us a lot okay uh this particular plant some people call it air plants so many different names uh, miracle plants miracle leaf in different languages too okay so wherever you are it depends what language you guys call it or the name given to it this plant helps a lot uh first of all if someone has headache you know when someone have headache especially migraine um it's something which is very uncomfortable and it's sad to watch your loved ones go through that but if you have this plant beside you you are not even gonna chew it trust me all you do is plug one big leaf okay put it on on the stove or maybe if, it's, if you have an open flame just hover it on top a little bit to get a little warm and just uh, put it on your forehead just like you do band-aid or plaster just put it there and sit down and relax okay your headache is gonna go away okay just sit down and relax if you keep doing it this is gonna help you okay also this particular plant uh, it's good for people who have high blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, or some people complain about uh, having heart uh, pain in their chest, angina, very great for it, okay? This plant is good. Or you can take a short glass of it, or you can chew the leaves. If you want to chew it, when you wake up in the morning, before you eat anything, if the leaf is huge, sometimes if you get good soil, it can grow really big um if you um if the if not that big you can pluck two wash it very well so that you don't get any uh bugs or nothing on it okay you don't want to make your problem worse and chew on it the taste is not bad this is not bitter it tastes a little bit like lemon like what do you call it on the good side of lemon lemon is more tart but this one is it's it kind of how it kind of tastes a little bit sour but not too sour okay that you cannot handle really good it helps you a lot with high blood pressure uh, or if you have angina okay to control it really really well to and it will get it down uh also what you can also do is um you can make you can take a short glass of it what you do is you blend it with some water okay a little bit of water and squeeze the juice out and take a short glass of it just like uh you would with grass some people do take a shot of red grass in the morning this you can do the same thing in a sh one shot glass okay in the morning if you get it really concentrated uh if the concentration is really high then you can take a shot glass but if you add too much water then you can take half a glass or one glass of it there's no harm to it okay there is no harm to um having this uh also what you can do is uh when you when you have this like i said you can chew it or you can take a shot glass of it it's also very good for people who have respiratory issues okay there are some people who have coughs uh, uh asthma uh those pneumonia all type of respiratory issues okay they are all uh, what you call it, infections and all those things inflammations going down there if you take this a short glass of it or you chew two of it early in the morning just wait an hour before you eat your breakfast continue doing it if you have respiratory issues just take it in the morning and you can take it uh, in the evening as well too, a short glass of it, or you chew one or two in the morning, depending on the size. And in the evening, you repeat the same thing too. 
It's also good for dissolving kidney stones. People who have kidney stones, okay? Blend it and drink it. That with the kidney stones, I would suggest to blend it with water. Okay? You can add lemon to it, a little bit of lemon to it if you want, and drink it. One glass in the morning, one glass in the evening. Okay, before you go to bed. Always remember when you take in the morning, it should be in an empty stomach. Wait an hour before you eat. Also, it's good for eggs a lot. Some people who have some people have uh, eggs in their body and things like that. If you take this overall health, it come it will help you with your fatigue and so many things. It's also good for ear infection. There are some people who have ear infections. Uh, at times, in other areas, especially in poor countries, uh, when the ear infection gets so bad, especially with kids, uh, you see that there's pus coming from the ears, and sometimes they will stick. Uh, cotton ball inside there is not good okay if you have this what to do is every morning and evening you just put a drop just hover it on top if you want to get the juice out really well just hover it on top if you are not blending it just hover it on top of fire and just mash it the juice will come out squeeze it very nicely and put drops drop each in each ear even if it's the ear which is hurting you is just only one put it in both ears okay morning and evening morning and evening that ear especially in children is gonna go away uh also if you have cancer it's really good for cancer uh if you have cancer this is what you do you are going to be doing this for 21 days you have to repeat it you either take uh, a short glass if you really if the concentration is really high like you add a little bit of water to it so you can get the pure quality juice out but if not if you're adding a little bit more water what you do is you add a little bit more water to it blend it okay don't add anything to it blend it nicely drink um a cup in the morning a cup in the evening a, a cup sorry a cup in the morning a cup in the afternoon a cup in the evening for 21 days after 21 days give yourself three days break without taking any any of this then repeat it again till the cancer goes away from you this is really good for cancer all kinds of cancer i'm not just talking about only breast cancer i'm not talking about just prostate cancer kidney can whatever cancer it is just drink it up drink it and this is it's pleasant to take it's not bad at all it's not it's not bad like you know what i mean some some herbal medicines are really bitter and hard to take this is not one of uh, those kinds also those who have liver problem especially those this is one of the medicines for hepatitis if you want to really help yourself if you have hepatitis or if you have any uh, liver damage, liver issues, especially even in the case of people who have liver cirrhosis, this is something that you can take. When it comes to the liver, there are so many things that you can take because some of these herbs um, are very hard on the liver, okay? So if you have to be very careful, if you, if you have liver disease or if you have liver problems, be careful on the kinds of herbs that you take. Even some of the spices, especially something like cloves, you have to be very careful how you use it. Use it wisely, okay? Because it can be very hard on your liver. Uh, so, uh, so be careful. But this particular plant is liver friendly. It's actually your liver loves it. Your liver, the liver loves uh, this particular plant. So make use of it. Uh, so these are some of the things that I use. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I do. Uh, if you look here, I have my calancho in water. Okay, let me open it. I have it in water. Okay, what I do is I soak mine in water, and I put the leaves inside. And this has been going on for more since morning. Okay, I drink it up throughout the whole day, and I chew the leaves too. So what I do is. Even if I can soak it up for three days and I'll still be drinking that water. If I have to, if I'm not drinking enough of that water, sometimes I mix it up with my tap water or whatever it is. Um, it's still good. So uh, what I do is, like I said, uh, this is what I also do. I put it in a glass bowl and I wash my leaves very nicely and put it inside. Okay. I put it inside and um, I drink the water throughout the whole day. This can stay in the water for three days. Sometimes I don't drink the water continually, especially when I'm going to work or going outside and I forget to carry my water, some of this water with me. Uh, I, it can go for two, three days. It's still fine that I drink it and I chew the leaves, okay? When you soak it up, the leaves is not, uh, is not bad. You can still chew it. You can, only, you can also put it in your water bottle when you are going to work. Put some of the leaves inside your water bottle and fill it up and drink it especially those who have chronic issues you know what i mean you can also do it for overall health you don't have to be sick as i'm doing it i don't have any problem 
but I'm doing it because I keep myself, you know, all that is going on in the world. I keep myself up to date. I try not to uh, get myself contaminated because I do so many things. Okay. When I go out, I don't want to be catching anything. So I drink this for common cold and flu. It helps me a lot. So uh, please don't forget this plant grows really well. So everybody should get some in their backyard and it grows in pots. You can put it in, um, in, in your house. You can put it indoors. Um, when the weather is but especially in areas where there is a uh, um, winter when winter come you can it it, it, it keep mine has been going on for a few years now okay so it stays indoors so once again my name is church girl uh please don't forget to subscribe right below and also give your girl a thumbs up to give me some encouragement thank you and have a nice day bye bye